Hello everybody from Plant Reviews, today the 3rd of April and I'm talking now about the Narcissus Roadrunner. Uh, this Narcissus was raised by um, Ryan, uh, Ryan S. Duncan uh, in Northern Ireland and registered in 2013. Uh, the, this uh, daffodil belongs to the group 7 of the daffodils uh, that are the uh, John Killa daffodils and uh, it is uh, a medium sized daffodil, I would say that the leaves uh, can be up to 40 cm while the flowers uh, stand a little bit below the top of the leaves and are about 5 cm uh, across and they are born in uh, either single flowers or sometimes in clusters up to uh, four flowers in uh, some of my stems. Uh, the tepals are bright yellow uh, with a kind of uh, whitish uh, stripes and uh, actually uh, some of the flowers are almost uh, like double flowered. You can see in this flower uh, we, ha we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tepals. Well, usually they should have only six, as this one. And the corona is uh, uh, pale yellow. Uh, usually, it's quite the opposite of a normal daffodil. That uh, some, I mean, most daffodils have pale tepals and uh, bright yellow or orange uh, cap this is precisely the opposite we have yellow bright yellow tepals while the uh, corona is uh, a kind of pale yellow and also the uh, tepals fade to uh, almost white at the base uh, the fragrance is is a very sweet fragrance, even if it's quite light. Is a kind of a citrus mixed to vanilla, and the name of uh, the Narcissus Roadrunner is due to the fact that uh, it increases rapidly uh, in uh, by offsets. So it was given this name as Roadrunner. My opinion about the fragrance is that actually the fragrance is very nice, but I don't. Uh, uh, feel it uh, extremely uh, intense, so I wouldn't recommend this as a daffodil uh, for a fragrant garden, uh, definitely better uh, for indoor fragrance, so you can cultivate this daffodil in a pot and bring it indoors uh, for uh, smelling it every now and then, and indoors definitely would be uh, much easier to smell the fragrance that is, as I said, very, very pleasant. Um, there are some notes also, in addition to citrus and vanilla, of like kind of freshly cut washed potatoes, pretty weird, but uh, it is definitely a pleasant fragrance. And uh, the only thing that I don't particularly like about this daffodil is the presentation of the flowers, because the flowers actually stand quite below the top of the leaves that are um, bluish green, so it's a beautiful color of the leaves, but unfortunately the leaves uh, partially cover the flowers, so I believe really is not re a great presentation for this daffodil. So uh, the flowers are definitely nice, but it would be even nicer if the presentation was better with the flowers standing above the foliage like many other daffodils. So, uh, this is my review really. As usual for daffodils, uh, the bulbs need to be planted in autumn, uh, about 10 cm deep and 10 cm apart, uh, unless obviously they're in a pot and then you can pack them a little bit more, but obviously you have to be careful about fertilizing, it's very important to nourish properly the plants uh, when during the active growth. Once the flower fade, the leaves will fade as well. You can see that actually some of the leaves have the uh, tips that are starting uh, yellowing like this one they will die down uh, between late spring and early summer and then the bulbs uh, well the plant go dormant so only the bulbs remain uh, then then will sprout in uh, autumn on the following uh, season so uh, they usually go dormant in summer and uh, during this period they should not be watered ideally or if they are in the garden at least uh, uh, you have to be careful to plant them in very well drained soil, indeed to avoid water logging, especially when the bulbs are dormant, uh, that is uh, when the bulbs are more sensitive to rotting. Ideal position is full sun or at least partial shade. As usual, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and uh, if you like this video, would you be glad if you can 
watching please give it a thumbs up and if you uh, like this video and my other videos in my channel would be great if you can please subscribe in this way um, you uh, help uh, um, this computer free for you but obviously uh, you help me in uh, getting uh, uh, known by the YouTube platform that in turn can uh, support my YouTube channel and making it grow. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.